Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures, and we've got another nice little obscurity for you today, and that comes to us from Limbo Division 209. So I did a review a while back on one of the models I got from Limbo Division, and they've slowly but steadily put in putting out new releases pretty regularly. Not every model is to my taste, a bit too cheesecakey for me, but this one really looked kind of cool, so I was going to go ahead and take the plunge, and I don't remember what she's called, but let's find out then. So one of the nice things is, obviously, they had these cool little metal tins. If you want to take out the nice foam packing insert, once they've arrived, they make little great dice tins. They have these hard plastic shiny cards, like old foam cards. Ooh, number 94. It's actually kind of nice. Who is this? Yuki Yamazuki. Yuki Onna. Which would explain why she's got the all white skin and really overly large breasts. One of the cool things about these is they have this whole little story in here. And a very nice paint guide. So while she is only wearing a jacket, uh, and thigh highs, you know, at least she, she will look decent <laughs> once painted, not improperly dressed for the table. And another nice thing is we have very clear designated instructions. Oh, I'm drilling holes on the base. Okay, there are pegs on the feet. I'm going to remember that this time. Hopefully, let's take a look at the actual model. Lots of little stuff, but I'm assuming that's for her jetpack thing growing off of her. Nobody really makes models like these outside of Kingdom Death, and while Kingdom Death seems to specialize, obviously, in scantily clad voluptuous ladies, they have a much more grimdark fantasy vibe, whereas Limbo Division stuff is overtly sci-fi. So you can see here, pretty obvious, clear spots where everything is going to go and get attached. Doesn't look like a whole lot of flash. That's fun and easy. Base is the same as the previous model I put together. Here is her big honking gun. A little bit of flash there between the handle and her hand. Quite easily cleaned up. The other leg. Fits in nice and neat. I guess I only have one peg. To be honest, though, I don't know. Looking at that, I mean, I think she can stand pretty flush to the base otherwise. Hmm. I don't know. I will dwell on it and mull over it. Here's her head. Hair is surprisingly pretty much one piece. A little bit of flash in between some of the thin strands there. We have got the thrusters that are going to attach to her rear. They're not on her rear end, but they are on her back. Lower back, I should say. Jet missile thruster things. I'm assuming this is how everything attaches. Maybe that goes to the gun and then the cables for the gun. So, quite a little bit of parts, but yeah, see that's that one piece. And then those attach, those go into the thrusters. Thrusters attach to this. This attaches to the back. Right about where my thumb is. Somewhere in there. Maybe that there's a big gap. It's hard to see in the lighting here. And then the gun and the wires are going to attach. Worst case scenario, if it's a tight fit, we can always heat it up and kind of flex it back into place, but I don't think it's going to be too complex. So give me a sec, we'll get her all put together, and I'll find that other Limbo Division figure I know I built. Hold on. Okay, we got Yuki Yamazuki all cleaned up here and pretty much put together. So I did not glue her to the base, and I've got blue tack now stringing and pulling itself apart. That's okay. Uh, her feet actually are pretty flat there. I just went ahead and trimmed them off the bottom with the little support studs. 
whatever they were, leftover resin. I figure, I think she's going to have enough of a flush spot to attach to the base. It's not going to be much of an issue. Of course, if the blue tack would work, that would be even better. There we go. So you can see here, I was surprised. I was really worried putting this together. I was afraid just the way everything has to attach to each other was going to be an issue. So I'm trying to shove her underside here so you can kind of get a look at where that little piece attaches and all the wires attach right underneath her jacket. Uh, it actually worked, and I was super worried, but everything fit exactly where it was supposed to be. The ruster is attached nicely. Gives it a very Frame Arm Girls, Kotobukiya kit feel to it. Why she's wearing only this parka, I have yet to figure out. I like the gun. Actually, I like her whole outfit. I'll be honest. Looks like something out of a, you know sci-fi phone app with all the waifu collector gotcha games out there but i'll be honest you don't see a lot of that on the tabletop outside of limbo division i mean maybe to a smaller degree kingdom death but even then i don't think like this style of model so it, it's something different and if you like that style i really don't think you can go wrong with this very minimal cleanup needed very easy to put together despite all of the little fiddly looking parts that even gave me a bit of apprehension and if you've watched this channel, you know I build an absolute metric ton of model kits of all shapes, sizes, and varieties. So the fact that even this was giving me a little bit of worry, it was completely unfounded. Everything fit exactly the way it was supposed to. Now, grabbing my one and only other Limbo Division model. And I don't know if these ever get re-released. I really like this girl. I also like the fact that she actually had clothing on and her Super Robot Wars Endless Frontier looking uh, weapon thing there. So you can see size-wise they fit in pretty nicely together. And I've mentioned it before, but my initial thought is always Kingdom Death models I think are going to be a nice, great fit. Of course, our white sun lion here is not wearing any of the sci-fi stuff. We haven't seen any Kingdom Death sci-fi bits for a while. Grabbing a few other Kingdom Death models, just to give you guys an idea. A more recent plastic. An older resin. So, you know, I think it's a good mix. Photo resin, regular resin, and plastic model. They're going to fit in quite nicely with our ladies. And they even have a little bit smaller bases than the Kingdom Death stuff. So, something to keep in mind there as well. I am eyeballing around the table looking to see if I have any other models that might be of similar size and shape, but I'm not really seeing anything, unfortunately. I was thinking Conquest models, well, obviously with the Kingdom Death reference, Conquest models are going to work really well, but all the ones I have are non-humans around me at the moment, unfortunately, which I don't think is going to be the most helpful. Grabbing something that people may be more familiar with if you wanted to go a more traditional route of using models that you're familiar with. Especially with the sci-fi mix going on here. Grabbing some blue grim dark future warriors here. Should get a good idea of how big these ladies are. Um, maybe if you wanted to paint one of these girls up in admet colors, because you know, you know those desperate lonely uh Poster Levin folks probably <laughs> built a couple of ladies like this without the Emperor's know-how. If you wanted to go the more fantasy route for some reason. Uh, I know Limbo Division does have a few models that would probably mix in pretty well. Uh, they are a little bit taller than the more traditional fantasy offerings here with uh, WizKids, GW, a Mantic Plastic Human, and I was going to grab... I grabbed something, I don't know where I stuck it now. Was it a Reaper figure, I think? It disappeared on me. Anyway, so you can see, they're going to be a little bit larger than a traditional miniature. If you're going, oh, how about like a War Games Atlantic cannon fodder? Or one of the North Star Stargrave models. 
again, they're going to be a good head or two taller than their smaller plastic brethren here. So something to keep in mind if you wanted to use them in like in a five parsec crew, Planet 28, one of the other various uh, urban manhunt skirmish scale games where size isn't going to necessarily matter. You're not going to have to build units of these. They might be fun models to use in games of that type. So interesting design. Definitely a bit different in the tabletop style. Not something we see with the very anime aesthetic. The Mecha Musume frame arm girls style that is oh so prevalent these days. Well, it's not bad. It's just not the hot-blooded giant Obari Mecha that I grew up with. But that's a whole different story for a whole different day. So if you're interested in models like these with a bit of a cheesecake touch and a hard sci-fi edge, do give a look to Limbo Division 209 with their fancy tin uh, dispensary mailers as well. Fun stuff, and if you do like it, get it while you have a chance because these models do tend to send out, send out, sell out of stock quite quickly. So uh, I know I have another one coming in the near future, and I saw that there's some that are going up for pre-order soon. So check out that link below if you are interested. With that said, this has been High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures, saying thanks for watching, and we will see you back here soon. Bye-bye.